Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there and welcome in this lecture in which we're going to discuss yet another type of simple product that you can create and sell on Etsy. And this is another printable, which is a monthly budget planner. Now, when many people get their paycheck, not everyone has the ability to basically handle that paycheck in such a great way. And so they might need something that helps them in organizing their budget and making sure that they spare some money at the end of it and not just simply use their entire paycheck. And that's why they come to Etsy and they come to many other platforms, but mainly Etsy because there's a lot of traffic that comes into this. And they purchase these types of uh, papers, one page instant download in A4 or A5 format, and they can use it to basically uh, plan their monthly budget. Now, here, if you go to SEMrush, for example, and check for the keyword paycheck planner, I found this to be a very lucrative opportunity, to be honest with you, because the intent of the keyword is transactional. Plus, even though it might seem that there is very little traffic, there's 320 people in the United States every month. That's 320 people looking to buy. And the keyword difficulty is easy. As you can see right here, it's super easy to rank for paycheck planner, right? And also for budget by paycheck planner. So if you optimize by using these keywords, when I say optimize, I, I mean that you have to, when you're creating the description and title, you have to ensure that you ask ChatGPT to include this keyword paycheck planner and budget by paycheck planner in the keywords of the title and description so that you can have a higher chance of people finding you, right? And if we actually run a search right now for paycheck planner, now usually people run the search and the first results they find are, are the results that they actually go to. So if we look for paycheck planner, you can see that the first thing that pops out is Etsy. And that's a beautiful thing because if you're ranked high for that keyword on Etsy, you will have the possibility to sell this, right? And while it might not be interesting, but if we do the math, let's say that you rank number one, you get 500 visitors a month. Everybody purchases this for 176. Let's say that you make maybe 60% or 70% of that. You're still going to make a pretty good dollar for one product, making yourself $500 every single month. Notice here, this person has used the keyword budget planner, budget tracker. So if we use this keyword as well, if we go, for example, to SEMrush, which you can use for free on the free trial, by the way, to do these keyword research. There is a limit how many keywords you can search for. But the good thing is that it gives you the, the list of uh, keywords as well as the search volume. Now, here, this one is much more competitive. The other keyword that I've shown you earlier is less competitive. These ones are super hard to rank for. So you have a bigger chance ranking for the other one if you optimize for the other one than you will have if you optimize for this one. Notice here that even in the description, He's referring to the keywords. So make sure that you use these keywords also when it comes to the description. But apart from that, I'm going to actually go ahead right now and show you how this works. Remember that you can also use Placeit to create such designs, but I'm just going to click on create a design here from Canva. Look for an A4 paper. As usual, go for the portrait one, which is uh, basically looking like a, a planner paper. And then look for a monthly planner or budget planner or whatever that is. And you can complicate life if you want to uh, by creating these Excel spreadsheets, which take some skills when it comes to visual VBA or so you're going to have to have some high skills in Excel for you to be able to create these sheets. But the funny side is that uh, these sheets right here, they're not really as profitable as just one piece of paper. So the person that spent some time generating this or creating this has spent a lot of time as opposed to that, we have this person right here who just created a piece of paper using Canva, has 32,000 reviews. So if we click, there is a vast difference into how many sales and how much profit this shop has been able to generate. And this is not rocket science. So you can decide to go the complex route or you can just simply not go there. It, putting 10 hours into a product is not what's going to make it sell. It's actually their demand. And that's why I'm using SEMrush to show you here the demand when it comes to these. Also, if you search for monthly budget, you'll also get some ideas and inspiration of some keywords that you can utilize, as well as the search volume in the world, as well as in the US, if you're only interested to find out people that are interested in this in the US. Now here, 5,400 in the US. This is so difficult to rank for. 
And these are some keyword variations that you might be interested to use as well, such as monthly budget planner, free monthly budget template, and so on and so forth. And if you right click here, you can see that there is more uh, for mon monthly budget pay page, for example, if we look for monthly budget page, let's explore if probably there's an opportunity when it comes to this keyword right here, monthly budget page. And actually there is no people searching for monthly budget page. So um, we might try probably monthly budget printable. Let's see how this is going to work. Um, let's just give it a second here. Now it's still searching. Now for monthly budget printable, there is quite some traffic, but still the keyword difficulty is relatively high. So the keyword that I've shown you at the very beginning is a great keyword. You can use it and you'll probably make some sales. And so right now, let's go and create our planner here. Now look on the design side of, of for monthly planner. Now hopefully they don't show me monthly calendars. Actually, I'm gonna add another keyword here. I'm gonna say budget planner. So you can see right here that uh, we have some pretty interesting templates. Go with the one that you like. And remember that you always have to edit this. So for example, I can remove this. I can take this, click, and change the font into something else. I'm just gonna use Montserrat. I think it's a professional one. I'm gonna use Montserrat Classic. You can keep monthly budget over here, or you can just shrink it a little bit and move it on the other side. I can select everything right here. I can click on the color of the text, you can change it, or let me click this one here. There's the telegraph font. I'm gonna use Montserrat. I'm gonna change all so that everything else change, changes. And what you can do as well is you can change things. So you can potentially move things around here. Now, when it comes to the notes, I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna go for note. And then you can take a piece of paper, maybe place it there as well. Now there's a bunch. Uh, let me just click on see all here to see more options. And we have a bunch of pieces of paper. Let's say that you like this one, for example, and you wanna place it right there. You can make it just a little bit smaller and then place it here. You can take this text, maybe drag it down here. And as you can see, that looks pretty interesting. Notes. And we can also maybe change a couple of things. This is a table, so you can change the table. In my opinion, just keep it like that. But you can add some emojis and some graphics. So let's go and, for example, say monthly. On In graphics here, we have some uh, graphics that we can utilize. So for instance, um, I think we have, this one is looking pretty good. I've added two. So what you can do, you can take this one, for example, make it a little bit smaller, and then maybe place it next to this for as to say this is a monthly budget planner, and you're good to go. Now you can change the color of the background if you'd like to something else. So probably maybe this one, depending on you, depending on your preferences, you, you can go for even yellow color if you'd like. And uh, you can probably customize, maybe add money, some money graphics in in there. So probably maybe a dollar or something like this. Now let me just keep looking. We have this, it's about money. Now what you can do is you can basically increase the size of it, decrease the transparency so that it shows, but not that overwhelming. And you can position this backward, backward, backward. And as you can see right now, this will be added and let me just add a little bit more transparency so that people know that that's some money there there you go and that's your monthly planner now it's also a good practice to leave space on the uh, right or left hand side when it comes to uh, these particular holes that they're going to put because these holes are not put by you they're put by them there's a specific machine that does that or a specific small tool so i would reduce this a slight bit and make sure it is positioned in the center so that right here in the in the corners there is some good space for them to dig those holes now you can basically download this i'm going to say monthly budget planner and when it comes to the mock-up for this one it's pretty easy if you'd like to create a mock-up first of all let's download this and then as far as the mock-up is concerned i'm going to go back into canva here create a new design now, it's okay if it's a 500 by 428, so not inches. Actually, this should be in pixels instead of inches. So let me click again, click out, click on pixels, change this to 500 
by 428. And let me show you some Canva magic. Not that I'm bragging, but Canva is quite honestly the best tool when it comes to design for beginners and also offers a lot. So it comes with a suit of tools that you can utilize. Now, what I'm going to do here is very, very basic. I'm gonna go and add my piece of paper and then I'm gonna dig some holes into it by using an illusion, an optical illusion. So let me drag the monthly planner in here. Now remember that you can also resize your monthly planner into whichever size you wanna add. And remember that really, really well. Now, when it comes to the optical illusion, I'm gonna click right here. And then I would like you to click and add a circle. Now, if you add a circle, let me click here. Well, let me just do one th thing here. Let me click just one circle. And I'm going to show you what you can do with that. Now, let's place it there for a second. And then let's go and look for a uh, mock-up or table with planner. With planner. Hopefully, we can find something that we might use. If I go to photos right here, there's plenty of photos. And this one doesn't seem too bad, but it's not what I'm looking for. Actually, let me just do it again. I'm going to do table view from top. So they can show me some examples of some tables viewed from the top. And you can go for something that you like. So for example, here we have a bunch. I'm going to go with this one, not complicating it. And then set the image as background. And right now we have our planner it's sitting on top. What you can do, you can rotate it a little bit to make it seem like it's basically positioned like this. We can probably also increase the size because this should be a big planner. And then you can take this and basically put it right here. Now we need to we need to dig some holes into this. Now, first off, let me just go back. I'm gonna add a shadow first. Now when it comes to the holes, on second thought, I need to do it differently. But in this case, let me just add some shadow and then we can add a different variation. Uh, we can create a very simple background. Now, let me click to revert back into the old editor with this. Click edit the image. And this will actually take us to here. I can click on shadow. I can add some glowing shadow effect. Now you can go for different types of, uh, of shadows if you'd like. If this one doesn't do it for you, you can go for others. Now, to be honest, this is not the best. So I'm gonna go for this one instead. I think that's uh, a little more convincing and you can apply. And what we can do is we can potentially right click to duplicate this. And here's the deal. We're gonna go to the next page that we have duplicated we're going to add some things to it. Now this should be a little smaller. As you can see, the shadow has been removed from it because this one is still rendering. Let me retry, there you go. And then let's get back in here. I'm gonna remove this background entirely and then we can go for a specific type of background. So probably we can go for another one. Let me click here. Has to be a uniform background. So probably if you use this one, then you can rotate this back to its normal level. And let's add the shadow first, and then we can dig some holes into this. Now, let me click here, shadows. Let's add this shadow here. I think it's a pretty good one. And I'm quite satisfied with the angle. I'm gonna click here. And then you can go to elements and get the circle that we discussed. You can potentially make the circle smaller by making it smaller. Now the circle has taken the color of the background. If it didn't, then you have to change it to the color of the background. Now let me decrease the size of the monthly planner and place it somewhere around here. There you go. And I have to fix the position of this, but first I have to find the center. I'm still not finding it. Let me do it again. There you go. I think that right now this is pretty good. So I'm going to lock the position by clicking on monthly planner, lock the position. Get my circle, I still see it, see it there. And then reduce the size of it. I'm not sure if that's one circle or two circles combined. Yeah, that's actually just one. Okay. And then you can place it right here. You can maybe even make it a little bit smaller. And then you can duplicate, put one more right like this, for example. And then duplicate one more right here. And then you can potentially select these three circles again. I know it doesn't look the way you think it would, but if I zoom out, it will look just fine. Let me place this here. If I zoom out right now, notice that we have the holes. 
Now you can add more holes if you'd like, to be honest. I'm going to add a little bit more. And once you, you're done with them, you can download your template and upload onto, uh, onto Etsy. Now let me place this one like, like this. Put the same difference in, in the distance between each. And then again, duplicate, move this, these to the top a little bit and probably delete some. Not that one though, I have to delete this one. And I think that this is looking pretty good, right? Now we could potentially also reduce the size of these if you'd like, but generally speaking, this is how you would do if you ever wanted to create a mock-up. So control C, control V, add some more here to the top. I think one to the bottom, control C, control V, that does it, placing it here and potentially zooming out slightly and fixing the gaps by just taking these and dragging them a little bit. And as you can see right now, this looks like a pretty decent mock-up of a monthly budget planner. I just have to name these and download them. Monthly budget planner mock-ups. And you can use them as part of your marketing campaign. So this is it when it comes to this particular lecture so far. In the next lecture, we're going to go ahead and talk about t-shirt design. Stay tuned for it. Passive Income Gen Z, wishing you the best in signing out. Keep learning, keep mastering all of the AI tools.